Alright everyone, so welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be playing Tremors the game. It's not an official game, it is a fan game from what I understand. And I would like to clear up a few things before I get started. First of all, this is an Unreal game, my computer hates Unreal games. Second of all, I cannot see my recording equipment, it seems to have locked up, but I've done a test and it seems to be recording, so I'm going to just kind of throw a hand up to blind faith. So if there's any errors with this video, I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, these are this is this is music ripped directly from the film. Mm, Perfection Valley, September fifteenth, nineteen ninety. Is that when the game took place? Sorry, movie. Was it September fifteenth? I'll have to rewatch it and see if I can't figure out some clues. All right, we've got some controls. There was D E space bar left shift run. Explore the valley. Complete the quests. You can use the jeep. All right, I will be judging this very harshly because I am a very, very big fan of the Tremors franchise. A little bit of advice for the developer. Please be very, very careful with these games that you make. That is all I'm going to say. So we are Valentine... Valentine McKee. Yeah, that's his name. Famously played by Mr. Kevin Bacon. I would love to be able to turn the music off in this game, but I can't. So I'm going to have to add in my own, most likely. Let's see. So far, your map layout looks really good. You definitely studied the game. Yeah. I probably should have watched this before I played it. Then it would be fresh in my mind. I'm going to go into Chang's. That chair is scooting around. Hello, my dudes. What you doing? What you arguing about? They have no audio. We've got a bunch of junky cars out front. I don't think there was quite this many junky cars actually parked in front of Chang's. I believe it was just the running ones. We've got Nestor's house over here. Nestor! Are you home, man? Nestor, you've let this place go downhill, man. Oh, there's the septic pump. It'd be really funny if I could interact with it and make it, you know, shoot shit all over you because that's what happens in the film. I am a big nerd. I apologize. This also was a game recommended by a couple of you. A couple of you actually sent me this to play because you know I'm a fan of the trimmers. Yes. Yes. Going to explore. What is this? We got an outhouse? I don't remember there being an outhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, this might be Nestor's house. There actually was a really nice Tremors game that was in production. It was in, uh, kind of like Project Zomboid, you know how the, the angle from it, or early Fallout games. And it was quite recent, maybe 2017, 2016. They were making it, but they stopped making it. I don't know why. But I wish that they would continue to make it. I would love to play the game. Eventually I'll just make my own. Okay. Not bad, not bad. I like the level design, I do. I am a fan. Hey, yeah, this is um, technically in the third film, but I'll let it slide because it's Tremors themed. Let's see, we got Nancy's house. Whose house is that? I don't know whose house that one is. No colliders. No colliders on the people. Probably for the best. Look at me trying to go into people's houses. I never said I was polite. Where's Earl? Was that Earl back there? I don't think it was. I have a little logo over there. That must be where Bert lives. Oh boy, I got the truck. Even, even it looks like the truck. It's not exact, but it's pretty close. Whose house is this?
This truck does not handle well. Just an FYI. Well, whose house is this? Whose trailer is this? Is this... Is this supposed to be where I live? I don't remember him living so close to town. Like I said, I'm a big Tremors fan. <laughs> I'm going to be harsh and I apologize in advance. I just hope this video turns out really well as I'm going to spend all this time playing it. Let's, I guess let's go see what Bart's doing. Oh, what am I hitting? Whoops. This is supposed to be an off-roading vehicle. Do I have an invisible collider? No, I don't know what that was. It was like a rock or something, but I couldn't quite see it. Oh, there's no colliders on the truck either. I forgot how to brake, but I'm not doing a great job at braking. Maybe there is no brakes. Oh, goody goody. Bert seems to be calm. If there was something wrong here, he would be the first to know. Of course he would. Bert, let me in. I want to come to your house. Let's be best friends. Show me your gun collection. God damn it, Bert. It even looks like him. I mean, the model looks like him. Let me in. We're gonna be best friends. I can feel it in my bones. That's all I can do is just kind of greet Bert. Okay. Come on, shift it into rabbit. Make it go fast. Excuse you. Oh, I see Rhonda over there. I see your truck parked. All right, whose house is this? Oh, this is old Fred's house. Yeah. He actually lived in a shack. It was a very, very poorly constructed shack. And it was sheeps, not pigs and cows. Looks like someone ate these beasts. Looks like the work of a graboid. How do you know? Is this an alternate universe? Hmm... If I remember correctly, it was the sheeps, and you didn't know what caused it. Hey, Fred, let me in. Where's Fred? Where's the hat? Yeah, there's gonna be a hat on the ground somewhere. Fred, oh, Fred, my man. Where are you? Oh, oh, it's over here. This ain't Fred. The trail of soil indicates the movement of the worm. Let's hope it's not in the area yet. I bet this is how he's dodging the copyright issues. He's making it similar, but not exactly like the film. I'll have to look into that. Because I know spoofs are okay. You can get away with a spoof. Because it's comedy. I still would like to find the hat. Oh, God, get along, little doggy. Alright, I guess we're gonna pay Rhonda a visit. Hey, what's up? Working on your seismographs? Rhonda seems calm. Talk. Oh, we can talk. Cool. NPC functionality. I don't remember how to talk. I can scrouch. Space. E. It, maybe I can't talk. I don't know. No, none of, none of the buttons seem to be working and I'm hitting like every button. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. There's a rock's head. There's the rocks. So C to crouch. Shift to run. I can remember this. So I guess we're just going around checking in on all of the... All of the characters from the film, at least all the important ones, the ones that, you know, 
weren't killed for theatrical effect. A little bit of a drive. Excuse me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God, I can't drive. Excuse me. Ooh, road closed. These guys must have made a lot of noise. They must have lured worms here. My dude, Carmine. Watch out. I don't remember what the other one's name was. Carlos? Carlos and Carmine. Guys, watch out. It's gonna eat you. I'm from the future. I'm here to warn you. Don't ask questions. Just run. Well, get on a rock. Yeah, goodbye. This thing here is causing noise. Oh, we're gonna run over here and get on the rock. Maybe, perhaps... What do we have? And more importantly, how do I know to come and check out this area? Perhaps Bert has given me some tips. Ooh, cutscene. Hey, there's him. Uh, let's see. Yep, audio is ripped directly from the film. I would know. I've seen it about 400 times. Not a graboid. That is the sound of a shrieker. I know it seems like I'm being really harsh, but it's all in good fun, I promise. I promise. There are graboids nearby. I have to be careful. Better stay on the rocks. I'm trying to remember what that guy's name was. Hmm. I know they call him a damned old booze hound, but I can't remember what they called him. Ah, Edgar, Edgar. Now he only wears that one damn jacket. That's right, that's right. Let's see. I have to get there. Better stay on the rocks. Is this where I scrouch and walk? Technically, this shouldn't work, but I'm not going to complain. Is it coming to get me? I can't tell. Is it coming to get me? No, nah, it's going over there. He's going way over there. In reality, a graboid's sense of hearing is so strong he could hear me walking on the ground like so. I apologize once more for being a nerd. Cinema is one of my favorite things. Damn, those guys, they've been eaten. I'm going... Hey, where'd my truck go? I left it right here. Who moved my truck? Uh, this displeases me. I guess the Shrieker's got thumbs now. Oh, pardon me, sir. Didn't mean to do that. Let's make this a little interesting. Go, 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 go. Where's my truck? Can it hear me? Is it coming? Oh... I know what that sound is. Get up there! Where is it? Impress me. Ah, there you are. I see you. Excuse me. Don't eat me. No! Are you gonna leave? Are you gonna stay right here, little buddy? What if I stand up? What happens if I do that? Maybe I should... No, I don't want to let it eat me because I don't know if there's any save points or checkpoints. Okay. Alright, that, 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 that tracks. That sound tracks. Let's see. I've heard them make that before. Just call me a regular graboidologist. Okay, he doesn't seem to detect me, perhaps. Perhaps. 
It's coming back. Oh my god, it's coming back and the rocks are far away. Okay, no he's not. He's going over there. He's, he's hanging out over there. We're good. We're good. We're grand. We're gold. And we're just gonna sneaky sneaky across this very large field. Mm-hmm. I see ya. I see ya, little critter. I have to jump, don't I? God damn it, get on the rock, get on the rock, get on the rock, get on the rock. The glitchy rock. Oh no, oh my god, is this good enough? I don't know, I'm stuck, I'm broken, I have broken the game. No, no, we're good, we're good. He does sense me, though. Oh no, I'm gone, I'm goner, I'm graboid chow. No, I'm not. He should have got me, though. He, he, he definitely could have gotten me if he wanted to. He's just he's just playing with me. These things are huge. Oh, man, I stood up. He's coming back. And I'm stuck. I'm gonna sneaky sneaky across. Here's the, the field. No, you don't hear me. You know, one thing's for sure, if I... Does that mean it can sense me if it's making the noise? Maybe? No? I think I'm good. Anyways, I'm gonna- I was gonna say, um... He's gonna have some hellacious calf muscles and hammy string muscles by the time this is done, because we're gonna- we're gonna crouch walk through this whole field, you know? I'm not ashamed of it. This is a... what is this? This is the junkyard? Yeah, easy peasy lemon squeezy. This is a no-brainer. This is definitely a fan service. The developer of this game actually produced another Tremors game. I can't seem to find it anymore. I did own it. I, I, I don't know if it got taken down for copyright or what happened. I don't know exactly. But there was a game, and it existed, and I had it, and I played it, but I never made a video of it. Because when I did, I think my recording software messed up. I was using a different software at the time. What is this? What is this? What is this? I have to get to Bert's hut, but I have to stay on the rocks. I, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I'm doing a pretty decent job just crawling on the dirt. Hey. I believe this particular scene may be from... Tremors 2, it's in the beginning, the opening shot, where he's scooting across the poles and he's got to jump on the barrels to get to the truck. He doesn't make it. Spoiler alert. I should have said that before I told you all the spoiler. I highly recommend the movies. They're great. Um, they would be considered B-movies technically, and they do have kind of lame special effects, but they do use practical effects, and I do love a film that uses practical effects. Feels more real, feels like you're actually there. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I yeah. am. I'm vaguely reminded of Jerry from Rick and Morty when he says, I just kept crawling and it kept working. Well, we just kept crouch walking and it just kept working. One of those moments in your life where being a coward isn't such a bad thing. Cowardice is underrated, though. I mean, nobody likes a coward, but... Sometimes... Sometimes it works. I've definitely, I've left him in the dust. I am doing such a good job. You know, what would have been more challenging is if you had a stamina meter. And you use up the stamina meter while you crouch. And eventually, you have to take breaks would be my point. Make it a little bit more tense, a little bit more nerve-wracking. 
That's what I would have done because then Val would have to take a break because you can't crouch walk like this forever. Have you tried it? Have you actually tried to crouch walk across the field? I haven't, but I know I couldn't do it. Whose house is this? Was this Fred's house? Yeah, that's Fred's house. <laughs> Sing a little song. Am I going to have to jump? Am I going to have to lower the beast in? No. I think I got this. We're just gonna keep crouch walking. Just keep crouching, just keep crouching. Why do I have to go back? What What was the point of coming here? Oh, wait, I see, I see, I see. Okay. My bad. I got a little turned around. I came from that direction, I think. My bad. It's easy to get lost out here. Is this how the desert really is? Is it just this easy to get lost in? Because, yeah, I would. Ooh, walk through a cactus. That would not be pleasant or fun. Gotta get back to town. Gotta warn everybody. The Graboids are coming. Slowly, of course. Patiently. Patience is a virtue. Never forget that. I mean, why are these barrels just out here? I mean, are they for fun? Am I meant to knock them over? I don't want to knock them over. It feels a little forced if I do that. got some dust in my throat and it's kind of getting to me. Good thing this isn't like audio sensitive because then I wouldn't be able to talk in real life. Oh, I teleported. Hello. Oh god, there was words at the bottom there but I wasn't reading them. With grenades, I should be able to destroy them. Okay, we're gonna destroy them. Oh, I should be scrouching. Give me the grenades. I want them. Oh, I just... I, I, I may have just jumped. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna die. Well, the good news is the guys kind of got the memo. They're all up on the roof, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, they're doing good. They're doing great. I'm proud of them. Where are the Graboids? More importantly, how do I throw the grenades? Because there was words and I didn't see the words. I couldn't even pick them up. Well, I'm just going to scrouch walk back over here. And see if I can't pick up the grenades. There is a way to do it. I partially watched someone else play this, but I didn't complete it. I just kind of skipped around, got the highlights, made sure it was a real game, you know? Sometimes you get fake games, if you know what I mean. I want them. Give them. Give me. What did I hit? Did I hit Z? I think I hit Z. It was like X, Z, or C. It was one of those numbers. Numbers. It was one of those keyboard letters. One of those buttons. I guess it's better to say. It was one of those buttons. Ooh, more. How do I throw? <laughs> there was... I'm pretty sure there was instructions, but I was drinking water. I was drinking the water. I hear you, my good man. ZC. Okay, F. 
It's F. It wasn't even a Z, C, or X. It was F. How do I throw? I want to throw them. Do I have to pick up all the grenades first? I'll do that. Hey, where's Heather? Bert's wife already left him? She's not supposed to do that till after the Graboid incursion. I don't know how to throw the grenades, but I sure would love to. Maybe I should go let it eat me. Just for some awesome graboid interaction. Oh man, I can't get on this rock. That's a tad bit inconvenient. It would have been cool if we got to ride the, the bulldozer and I had to go pick them all up. Just like in the movie. Alright, come and get it. Oh, there we go. That's how we do it. Right click. Come on, come and get it. Boom. Did I get it? I don't think so. Come and get it. Gotta ring that dinner bell. Okay, I'm not doing it right. We're going to do this like head on. Dun 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 dun. I'm giving you, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you all a version of the music since I have to mute it. Dun 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 dun. You're gonna eat me. He's gonna eat me. Come and get it. Okay, you're not that bad. You're actually a pretty decent model. I need more bombs. He's coming to get me! He's coming to get me! Oh my god! Denied, my good friend. Denied. I, I like how they did the little earth mound that follows behind him. It's, it's, a, it's just a 3D model and it kind of phases through the ground. Very interesting. That's not how I would have done it. I would have done it with a shader. I don't know how to do shaders, my husband does, but I would have my husband make me a shader. Do I have to sneak back? Do I have to go all the way back to Bert's house? Something tells me I have to go all the way back to Bert's house to get more grenades. Well, little anticlimactic, I'll be back for you, friend. Why don't you just follow me to Bert's house? Bert has bombs. Bert has really big guns, too. Let's go pay Bert a visit. I know what he keeps in his basement. So close, yet so far away. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I gotta get on the rock. I, I messed up. I, I thought I could improvise and I was wrong get on the rock get on the damn rock get on the rock get on, okay maybe he's maybe he's too far away he doesn't seem super interested get on the rocks we're just rigging the dinner bell Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. He can't come over here. He's he's confined. 
He has a boundary, an invisible... Hey, where are you? I need more bombs. Bert, Bert, I need bombs. I used them all, and I, I suck. Oh, I only have one? Oh no, I, I picked up a whole stack of them. Oh, I may have messed up because I thought I was only picking up one. I picked up all the little stacks, so I may... I may be royally screwed. Huh, okay. Kinda hoping that there's some more out here in the... in the desert. Are there three, four? I think there was. I think I said there was four. Can you go through the road? Over here. He doesn't seem to want to come out of his little safe spot. Oh no, here he comes. He's coming. He's coming. He's a little slow, but he's coming. Dun -a dun -a dun 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 dun. Hey 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 hey! There you go. Eat up. Boom. Not not good enough. Like, I really don't want to get close to it. Hey, was that it? He'd done something a little different there. Very good, let's go get the others. Ooh. Very cool, very gruesome, very bloody. I need bombs. Bert, got more bombs? Bert better have more bombs. I may have accidentally picked up all of them. I should have gotten a pickup after I blew up the initial graboid. That would have been cool. That's what I would have done. Bert. I need more grenades. Yeah, not cool, Bert, man. More grenades. I can't believe I messed up that bad. That's that's a big mess up. If something can go wrong with your game, you can promise me I'll find it. I can promise you I'll find it. I'm very good at breaking games. Well, I guess I can take this last bomb and maybe possibly go get the other one. I can get one. Did I already kill one? No, I well, I killed the one, but I don't know if I killed that other one, too. The one that I was like, I have to go back and get more bombs. There's the bulldozer. Alright, let's see. I have to wait for him to come up, and then I gotta throw it in his mouth. I don't think he can come out of his designated zone. He's in a zone over there, and he can't come out of it. He wants to. He's trying. He can smell me, but... He can't. I think he got, he's stuck over there now. You're dumb. Oh, I got got. Honestly, probably for the best, because I need more bombs. Where do I load? 
Oh, goody, goody, goody. I can actually read the uh, read the words that I was supposed to, so... Rhonda has detected four graboids, blah blah blah. With grenades, I should be able to destroy them. Yeah, use grenades to kill four graboids. So I will not be picking these up because I have three. I have three in my trusty... What do you call it? Pocket dimension. Yep. My trusty, trusty pocket dimension. Where's the boundaries for your cage? Oh! Try to jump over it. Denied. I died. I've That's twice I've died. Alright, thanks for the bombs, Bert. I might be back. I might not. It's hard to say. It's okay, so this one's closer now. He's gotten out of his cage. Let's see, how did I do that? I was running. I let him get close, and then I, like, jumped. And then I threw it. Over here. I'm over here, dude. Come and get it. He ain't very smart. They're still smarter than this. They, they should be a little bit smarter than this. We're running. Eat up, buddy. It's delicious. It's made with love. Very good, let's go get the others. I have one bomb left. Well, I don't want to go pick up any more because I don't want to lose the bomb I'm going to be holding, so... I guess I'm gonna go try to blow it up with one. Let's see... Ah, okay, I can kind of see him. He's over there, he's a little hard to see. He might have been glitched. That might have been why he couldn't have came over across that little barrier. Although I sort of feel like that the fact that there's no colliders on this stuff, I feel like that might play into the logic of the Graboid because it might be detecting rigid body colliders and my character might be the, be the only thing with a rigid body collider. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, little buddy. Let's go, let's go. Oh, no, 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 you're in your cage again. That's your barrier. That's your home. Don't you want to be in your home? Ah, God damn it. Three times. I'm not very good at this game. I never said I was good at games, but I do enjoy playing them. It's a real treat when I find a game I'm good at. Gotta go blow him up again. I feel like I've done this before. Deja vu. It makes me kill them every time. I'll master this eventually. Don't worry. I'll figure out the pattern. Just like... What is that game? Elden Ring. Or Dark Souls. Loody da dee dum just going for a stroll in the park, come on. Alright, a little bit faster than I remember. So I gotta aim for the mouth, alright. I can do that. It's gotta go right in the mouth. Goody goody, I'm getting real good at killing the first one. It's gonna be this other ones, I think. Maybe I need to sneak up on it. Maybe I actually have to give a little bit of tactic. I can't just run in the guns blazing. Literally and metaphorically. There's four of them. I can see the other three dust clouds. 
I gotta say though, this game is a big improvement on the other one that I played by this developer. I can't, he won't come over here. He's just, he's shy. Are you shy? It's okay to be nervous. I think he got himself stuck. Like, I feel like I'm chasing this damn thing. I really do. Like, I know he was here. I'm, I, I followed him all the way across the map. I found the edge of the map. Is that is that why you're stuck? Did you did you go off the edge of the map, little buddy? Oh, bless his heart. Did you go off the map and now you can't find your way back? Oh, here we go. Here we go. He's coming. He's coming. Okay, that didn't go in his mouth, and I have no more bombs. And there's no rocks. I'm going to die again, aren't I? Yeah, they're on. Is this my truck? Aw, oh, who crashed my truck? Who wrecked it? Go on now, little buddy. Go on. You're not wanted here. Alright, now he won't leave me alone. I've pissed him off. Oh, there's two of them over here. That's kind of cool. Wasn't expecting that. I'm in some kind of crossfire zone. There's my truck. My truck is wrecked. Hmm. The game's lagging. Too many particles. Tell me I'm going to crouch walk all the way back to Bird's house just to get more bombs. Well. Alright, I guess. Well, I found what happened to my truck. We're back all the way at the beginning. Man, Bird's house is so far away. Does he smell me? I think maybe I think maybe there is a audio source attached to the graboids and as they get closer the music gets louder. Yeah, definitely. That either that or there's like some kind of a detector and that particular track of music just gets slid up on a scale the closer he gets to you. It's not bad. It's really not a bad game. I wonder if I'm far away I can start sprinting. Can't believe I gotta go all the way back to Bert's house. That is a long walk. A long and lonely walk. Good job, developer, for padding the gameplay. This game wasn't on Steam, it was on itch.io, but um, a lot of uh, issues that some game developers run into is that you can refund a video game on Steam if you've played it for less than two hours. A lot of these indie games can be beat within two hours just because they're short games. And these developers will put their games on there and sell them. People will download them and play them and then refund them before the two hours are up. I don't know if Steam has changed that policy or not, but I wish they would. Alright, I, 
that's going to... I'm, I'm going to sprint the rest of the way. We're going to just throw caution to the wind. Yeah, they're way over there. They don't... They don't care. We're, we're good. I didn't expect this game... I didn't expect to play this game this long. I did not think it was going to be... Well... Challenging. Because like I said, this is a big improvement on his previous game. Oh boy, a re-up. Oh, I think he sees me. He's coming to greet me. Hey, little buddy. Yeah, that... Earlier, that must have been a glitch or something where that guy... That one was stuck and he couldn't get to me. Uh, one of the gameplay mechanics that I don't like about this is that after you jump, you have to hit shift to start running again. A little... little annoying creates a little bit of tension. I don't know if that was on purpose. I don't know if that was an accident, but I'm pointing it out. That's right. Come on, this. Oh, I thought I was outrunning him. I guess I wasn't. Well, I'm gonna have a very nice death compilation. That's, that's, always, that's always a plus. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade with them. Or lemon water, whatever you want to call it. Life gives you lemons, make lemon water. Lemon juice, whatever. I seen a post that said, oh, unless life gives you sugar and water, you're going to have some very sour lemonade. Well, I got news for you. There are companies that do sell plain lemon juice. So if life gives you lemons, make lemon juice. Like a good t-shirt idea. I want you to put that on a t-shirt. I might do that if I'm feeling froggy. Okay, good. Making sure I had bombs. Okay, so we cannot slow down. I'm just going to keep running. We're just going to keep running. Just keep running in a straight line. Nothing's going to get me. Nothing's going to hurt me. Got that one on a first try. First try, all right, all right. I'm getting better. I told you I'd get better. I'll get so good at this game. Some of my favorite levels to play in games are the hardest levels. You get a real sense of accomplishment when you complete them. Like the uh, little helicopter mission in the GTA Vice City. One of my favorite missions in that game now. I, I actually look for that one. I do them. It's because I feel good knowing I did something hard. And then, um, Fallout New Vegas, the Sierra Madre, is my favorite mission. My favorite DLC. It is particularly difficult, but... It's okay, I like a challenge. And it's a challenge I can complete. Now, some games are really hard and I can't play them. I have never played Elden Ring, I have never played Dark Souls, I don't know if I would be good at them. I'm very good at racing games, but I think everyone's good at racing games. I don't play a lot of racing games. I get bored with them. Okay, let's see here. Running a straight line. Why'd he stop? Oh, there is an invisible barrier. As long as you don't cut me off. Good thing Val has got Infinisprint. Okay, I can't outrun this one. It's always the same one that gets me. I can't outrun him. Perhaps he's a little bit faster than the others. Is this Stumpy? Is this the smart one? Stumpy is the one. He, he's basically the final girl. 
Well, he's the final grab boy, you know, he outsmarted all the other ones, but he just wasn't quite smart enough. Oh, oh, this one. Oh, he's, he's, he's hungry. He's already up here. Yeah, I can easily outrun you. Oh, look, Bert gets a front row seat. Are you happy, Bert? Look, it went boom. Bert's happy. I know he is. This will be, this'll be, this'll be at least a decent compilation video. I don't know if I can... I'm going to keep the full length of it. It might get annoying watching me die five times. I don't know. It doesn't seem... doesn't strike me as super interesting watching somebody run across the desert six times now. Watching me struggle with an indie game. Let's laugh at Tiff's pain. Are you coming over here, little buddy? Well, he's not little. Oh god, this is the big one. This is the one that I can't outrun. Need to get over there to some rocks. I'm going for that rock. Because I don't think he can get to any of the other rocks. Because he's in a box. A little tiny box. Oh god, I don't think he was supposed to do that. I had the right idea though. Get on the rocks. That? That's six times I've died now. Six? Going on six? The rocks are kind of hard to get on top of, FYI. I mean, I guess rocks might be hard in real life to jump on top of, too. There you go, we're gonna give Bert a show again. Check it out, Bert. Oh, this one got me. God damn it, I guess we're giving Bert a hell of a show. I'm not, I'm not good at this. I, I'm, I'm, I have grossly underestimated something. Ugh. I have grossly underestimated my abilities. The guy I watched play this, it looked kind of easy. He made it look easy. So I kind of jumped, I just waited until I heard the sound, because you can kind of hear the sound of him coming up out of the dirt before he actually does, and that's when I jumped. Um, don't know if it's going to work for this one, because this one got me on the rock. This one's smart. S-M-R-T. He is so smart. I can't even kill two, I can kill one, I can't even get past two. I can't even get the job 50% done. I'm gonna be lazy. You come to me. I don't think it can. They also don't make that trumpeting sound unless they are in a pre-metamorphosis stage. It's because they're in excruciating pain. Like, uh, birthing pains. God, I hope these don't turn into shriekers. I didn't watch the end of that video that I watched someone else play. Like I said, I just got the highlights. These are about the only rocks I can get on. I can't get on any of them other ones, them big ones. I'm getting highly frustrated. I'm getting very frustrated. I guess now we know I wouldn't survive a real-life Graboid incursion. I've died six times. Six? Count them. Seven. Wait, no, seven. Seven times. I think. I lost count. 
There's no shame in admitting failure. Like, there's no way the other ones are, are harder than this one. They're gonna be exactly the same, right? Why am I struggling so much with this? Oh, cute, the perfection sign. And it's accurate. It's ripped from a screenshot, I can tell. Yeah, look at this. Let me get on this big bad boy. This is this is what they originally ride on. They collect all the people in the town. Oh. They collect all the people in the town and they try to escape. They give it a good effort. They don't escape. I don't think I'm supposed to be on this rock. See, it was a struggle to get on top of this rock. Not a lot of things you can climb on top of. I hear another audio source. It's playing different music over there. It was confusing me at first. That's right. I got something cool over here for you to check out. Can you get over here? Are you able to navigate the terrain? I know you seem to struggle with that a little bit. Yeah, it does surprise you. Like, you think they can't get to you, and then they surprise you, and they, they do find a way to get to you. They can. Maybe it's just playing with me. Maybe it's just trying to get me to come closer to it. Be interesting if it was that smart. It's hard to program AI. Knows I'm coming to kill it. It's like, no, you come over here. This ain't working like I had anticipated. I had a hell of it. I'm just gonna try to do my other technique where I run and I jump when I hear the sound. doesn't there is no sound there is no audible sound I don't know how I'm supposed to get to this one because how they done it in the movies maybe I should leave this one for last I mean if he follows me I'll try to kill him but I'm just gonna leave that one there I know I can kill that one I found a better quality rock I'm gonna give this a good effort I can't get him to come out of the ground. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if it can be done. I'm doing everything right. They just keep killing me. This one's the only one I can kill. Well, except that time it got me. I wish it would save my progress after I killed each one so it wouldn't feel so monotonous and repetitive. Why can't the other ones be as easy as him? 
I've spent a long time playing this game. It's, it's eating into the rest of my game time. Alright, I can confirm that the Graboids have an audio source attached to them that plays the music as it gets closer because those two guys just came over and you could hear the sound overlapping. I can't believe how much I'm struggling with this. Eh, oh well. I'm really beginning to wonder if there even is an ending to this game. I can't. I'm about to go watch someone else's video and see how they done it. Okay, so I did go and I watched some people's videos and nobody I watched could beat this. Is there an ending to this? I'm getting very suspicious now. Because you can kill this one, you cannot kill those ones. Now, I only saw people killing this one. I didn't see nobody killing any other ones. Most of them just played it until they got got. I've I have gotten God about seven times. What does that say about me? Perseverance. I would love to find an ending to this. But it's either not here or it's just too hard to attain. I mean, I've spent almost two hours now trying to beat this. I can't I can't get these ones to breach properly. I'm curious about that one over there. I've not messed with that one yet. If they start chasing me, I can immediately crouch down and it's like they forget about me. Oh yeah, see the music in town still playing. Y'all just jamming out here, ain't ya? Oh man, I can't even get on the car. That would be so cool if I could get on top of the car, just like in the movies. Can I climb this? Oh, I can't climb it! But the ladder is detachable. Very nice touch. I don't know where the graboids are. Come to me. Come to Bert's house. Bert has gifts. Very lovely gifts. There's another bulldozer. I want to try this one. Maybe I can kill this one. He's kind of also conveniently gotten sort of close to Bert's house. Maybe that's a factor. I don't know. I wonder if I can lure it to Bert's house. I wonder if that's the common denominator. I do want to figure this out. I would love to figure this out. Because so many people play these and they don't finish them. I do actually try to finish most of the indie games that I play. It's only after I've given it a very good effort that I give up. There he comes. He's coming. Took him a minute. A lot of coaxing and convincing. Come on. Yes, go to Bert's house. Oh, he was a dummy. He knocked over the barrel and then he went back. I'm essentially just trying to get it to follow me to Bert's house. After that, I don't know what else to try. I don't think I can- I don't think it can come to Bert's house. I think that's its limit. Objective, use grenades to kill four graboids. I should be able to kill these. There should be an ending. I've just not figured it out yet. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm gonna go check on that itch.io page and see if there actually is an ending because I'm just, I'm just suspicious now. Because I have seen no one obtain an ending yet. Okay, okay. 
I think, I think I figured it out. I think I figured out the ending. It's a bit of a trick, but there was a guy who posted the video on the itch.io page. Apparently you crouch, they can't smell you. So you get them to get right up close to you and then you hit crouch. That is the trick. It is a dirty trick, but it's a trick nonetheless that we're going to try. I know I can do it with this one. This one is easy for some reason, but the other ones are not. And yeah, he just kind of lets it charge at him, waits till the very last minute, and then scrouches. Come on. Well, not like that. You're supposed to be better. Better than me. <sighs> Controls are a bit wonky. That's what makes this difficult. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. I'm gonna go get this one because it's closer than me walking way over there. I mean, I don't get me wrong, I love the big map. It's fun, it's great. But I don't like dying over and over again. Very frustrating in a game. I guess I probably wouldn't like Dark Souls or Elden Ring, would I? That's it, that's it. Thank you, random guy. I, I gotta go give that guy a thanks. Hells yes. Thank you, my man, thank you. Muchas gracias, his video is in Spanish. It's very fitting, I think, because there are Spanish-speaking people in this game. I did two. I got two hells. Yeah, I done it. I figured out a technique. And it only took me an hour and a YouTube video. There's a method to my madness, I can assure you. Let's see. I'm gonna go re-up on grenades. And then I'm gonna go get those other two. Two assholes. The ones two, there's, there's two of them, they like to swarm me at the exact same time. I like the filter on this game too, it feels like you're in an old 80s movie. My confidence has been restored now that I've eliminated one of the unmentionables. This is called Tremors Rebirth, by the way, not Tremors, it's Tremors Rebirth. Skirting the copyright laws. I'm gonna try to stay on this side and keep that one over there because it's really hard when you got two of them trying to tag team you. Not cool. I'll try my new little trick of crouching and moving it. Like I said, the controls are a little wonky. It makes it a little difficult. <clears throat> so close. I almost had it. Just a second too soon. Now, why is this one the only one that we can easily kill? The other ones you have to get complicated with the weird crouching technique. Now that I know I can kill that one over there, I may kill him and go try to get those two, because I gotta figure out a technique for those two. I don't even have to crouch for this one, I just run from this one. This one's slow, this one's stupid. He's an infant. Now, it's interesting that it didn't tell you to do the crouch technique. You have to kind of get lucky and uncover it for yourself. Ah, here he goes. He's... No, I can't get him over here. He's being stubborn. He's being the stupid. Now, I'm actually having a really hard time getting them to notice me. Alright, alright, alright. I've got two down. I have to go get more bombs. I have got two down. I'm afraid to stand up because this one's so close right now. I can get a closer look at my truck. 
I meant to do this earlier and I kind of forgot. Yeah, it's bad. That's not good. It ain't good. I mean, if it follows me a little bit, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. I'll just crouch. Where's that other one at? I've gotta re-up on bombs. Oh, here we go. He's hungry. Wants a bite of me. The other one's over there. Hungry? Are you hungry? You want a little snacky poo? <clears throat> Darn. Darn it, I don't like this. I'm not happy with it. I just want it to be over with. I want it to be over with. It's too much. It's too hard. It's fun, but it's too hard. I'm gonna go try to get the hardest ones first. I might just have to get this one because he's a nuisance. Like a little lost puppy dog, it won't leave you alone. Okay, I was crouched that time. That one's not working. Hey, there's five. One, two, three, four. There's five graboids. And you can count the dust trails. There's supposed to be five. I don't know if there's supposed to be five. I'll be honest. It's honestly not working. It's not working. Okay, so my new method is to avoid that one there in the middle. It seems like I can kill all the ones on the outer edges quite easily. I just kept going for the hardest one every time. So I don't know what's going to happen. I'm gonna just try to kill the ones on the outside first and just avoid old buddy there in the middle. I have a strategy and an obsession. A little bit. A little bit of an obsession. Yeah, I don't think this is the one in the middle. Although they both do sense me. I don't want that one. I want, I want th the other one. The dumb one. It was the wrong one. figured it out. I, I know exactly what's going on now. Um, I have to avoid the one in the middle and kill all the ones on the outside. I don't know why the one in the middle is immune, but it seems like all the ones on the outside are good. I mean, it, I should just let it eat me because I don't feel like walking back all the way over there because I haven't killed any. I've just been experimenting. Come get it. Free dinner. Yep, so I know what to do. So it says four graboids. So I don't know what to do with that one in the middle that just is immune to the crouch technique, but I did try it on all of the other ones. So your guess is as good as mine. Might be part of the story. Who knows? I forgot to crouch.
Alright, so I know what you're thinking. And yes, I know. I'm back. I'm come to try it again. It's a new day. I've got a new outlook on things. I sat down to edit the video that I recorded yesterday and I just didn't feel right leaving it unfinished. So I'm going to try it again. I did a little tiny bit of research on the game, so I did do some homework, so it's not like it's going to be in vain. So while there are five Graboids, I only have to kill four. The one in the middle, the one that I have problems with, is supposed to be hard. But I also read about a new technique that I could potentially use against these guys. And you can jump over top of them, apparently. So I'm going to give it a good effort. We're going to try this one more time and hopefully I will yield a success. Also, I decided to leave the get the audio in from the from the original movie. I was going to take it out. Then I realized while I was editing the video, I lost a lot of I don't know what you call. I lost a lot of Lost a lot of cinematic value. Because while this game did sort of just rip a bunch of stuff from the movies, they've done a really good job of it. It has got a lot of cinematic value, and I do like that. I do enjoy a good cinematic experience. Yeah, apparently the one in the middle, the, the difficult one, apparently you can jump over it. And that's supposed to help. And so, like I said, I did do some homework. We got some new techniques and we have a refreshing new outlook on this. Plus, I'm dying to know what the ending is. I didn't, I didn't spoil the ending for myself. And also, if I'm being honest, I am a wee bit terrified of these things. Um... I have, have, still do. I still have the occasional nightmare about Tremors because Tremors was my first horror movie. At least the earliest one that I can remember. And boy, did it traumatize me. This lame, B-movie-esque, comedic horror film scarred me. It also might be what's wrong with me. Might be where I get my sixth sense of humor because this is, this is considered comedy horror, and comedy horror is a difficult genre. <sighs> Alright, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try to fucking jump over it. I think that might be my first F word. Might be the first F bomb I've dropped in the video. He's stuck. Are you stuck, little buddy? Let me make it a little easier for you. Nope, jumping does not work. Hmm. Every time I die, I get this feeling of anxiety and I don't like it. It's not defeat that I feel, it's just... I don't know, fear. I don't like it. I do, I do get a little bit of that adrenaline. very reminiscent of Alien Isolation. I played that game. Great game. Wonderful game. Kind of kind of what this reminds me of here, because you have to do a lot of sneaking. Hey, how did it know I was, how did it know I was here? You shouldn't have known that. I was crouch walking the whole time. probably gonna die a lot. Just an FYI. I've already died a lot. There's more to come. I wonder if it was because I hit a noise zone, because I noticed that there was like a rumbling over there by Bird's house. I probably won't be talking a lot for this part. I'm probably only going to be playing, and if I somehow manage to kill them all, I will show you the highlights. Maybe the occasional snide comment. Now I can't seem to kill this one at all. 
really dropping the ball, aren't I? Now, I didn't try to jump over either of those two. And to be quite honest, they get themselves mixed up and I forget which one's which. And they are difficult. I'm not the only one having issues. I'm just going to have to go... Oh, God. Just, just jump. Try to jump over either one of whichever one comes first. Because neither of them's easy. Let's just hope they both don't pay me a visit, because that's a little chaotic when that happens. You know, you're just supposed to be able to, like, run at them head-on and jump over them. I don't like it. It makes me nervous. It makes me scared. It really does. You're not the one who's had nightmares about these things. You're not the ones having a little bit of an existential crisis right now. You're laughing at me. I know you are. Playing this one makes me really want to make one. A game like this. If I could make it scarier. Oh, I really should just stop pussyfooting around. The only problem is that I don't want them both to come charging at me at the same time. I got that one. I got, I think I got one left. I don't even know if I should attempt it with this one. I'm just nervous. Like, I mean, I think that's the one in the middle. I don't know. I'm going to assume it's the hard one because I killed the other one. I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to do... I'm going to go with my best... What do you call it? My better judgment. I'm going to just leave this one alone, because I only have to kill four of them, and there are five. And I know there's one over there back behind them rocks. You just can't see them. I got one bomb left. So... I have to get it right. I mean, based on what I know about my knowledge gathering of this game is that that is the one in the middle. Because the other one, I got a little too close to it. I can't hardly get close to that, that really hard one. I'm just going with my best guess. And since I've killed one, I don't have to mess with the other one. I know this one, I've killed him. I actually killed this one once or twice. But hey, once is better than none. That one, I can't even get close to it. Oh my god, I found another easter egg. I would have never found this if I hadn't come back into the game. It's the it's the buried station wagon. This is the doctor's place.
I bet no one else has found that, have they? Jumping technique works like a charm, by the way. I don't remember who posted that one. <laughs> Alright, we are officially three in. Three in, I have one left. I'm a little lost. I want to go look at the doctor's place really quick because I didn't get to look at that earlier when I was, like, crouch walking across the map. Maybe the last grab boy, he's over there. That's the one I'm gonna go kill. I ain't going back to that other one. That's gotta be Stumpy. And it's even playing the radio, and it's even playing the song. Oh boy, was it's the wrong song though. When Val and Earl found it, it was Drop Kick Me Jesus. Not this one. This is the one that was playing when she got killed. I do have to get back to Birch to get to bombs. Maybe this one will follow me back and make my job a little easier. Yeah, three in. This is, so far, this is the best run I've had. It just goes to show, taking a break from something, looking at it with fresh new eyes, what it can do. It can change your whole outlook on things. And I'm not talking just about video games. Life in general. You'll run into situations like that in your life where you need to take a break from something, walk away, take a break, and then come back with a fresh new attitude. I really hope this one can't sense me. I haven't messed around with this one too much. But I know I've killed it once unintentionally. It was just an unintended side effect of what I was doing. You wanna follow me to Burt's? Come on. Oh, Nancy and Mindy's house. I can actually see into a part of it. Get on the porch, dude. Oh, very cool. I'm taking a detour. I want to actually see who all's on the roof over there. Oh, yeah, that businessman who was arguing. He's up here. That's supposed to be Melvin. Because he's like a douchey business owner. And I don't know who that one's supposed to be. Is that supposed to be that dude from the third film who's like... Helping scam the tourists. Kind of looks like him. He's got the same beanie hat on. Really weird how those audios were clashing. Ow, you have claws. Please don't do that, Mr. Amos. I have no pause menu. You're going to get me killed. He only does this when I play games. He knows I'm not paying attention to him. Alright, we got three bombs. Three should be enough to take out our third and final... No, fourth and final friend, yeah. Alright, let's try not to fuck it up. Yeah, I did it. That was four. The valley is safe. For now. I saved perfection and I got that wonderful satisfaction of getting the end screen. Hooray for me. Thanks for playing Realized by Stefano Cognani. I hope I'm saying that name correctly. I had a lot of fun playing it. I'm really glad I went back and revisited that. Now I have the satisfaction of knowing that I did it all on my own, all by myself. Anyways, remember to like the video. If you like to subscribe if you're new, I recently hit a 1,000 subscriber goal and I would love to keep the numbers rising. I would love to make YouTube my full-time career. So, leave a subscribe, please. It really helps out and I would definitely appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. What, honey? Did you say something? 
I'm playing a game. I'm sorry. Did I wake you? I guess not. He's not awake. Like I can't just run in gun. Run in... Run in guns blazing. A lot of, not a thing... Not a lot of things you can climb on top of. 